What's going on guys, John Santos, and in today's video, I'm here with my good friend, Ron, and today we're gonna go over how to actually convert a sketch into an illustration that you can use for a t-shirt, that you can use for branding, or any other use that you could think of. All right, so essentially, he's gonna take a sketch that he had, we're gonna show you the quick process using Illustrator, which is available through the link below, through the Creative Cloud. Click on over down below, try out your free trial, and then start using and designing Illustrator so you can really start growing your brand. All right, and uh, without any further ado, Ron, you wanna kind of introduce yourself in terms of uh, what, what it is that you that you do and what it is that you're gonna show us today. I'm a freelancing graphic designer. A lot of the work I do is towards print design, so most of it's usually towards uh, shirts, business cards, flyers, anything that can be printed is what I do. He's always just been an artist creating murals and all kinds of stuff. You guys can check him out on his Instagram, which will also be linked right below this video if you guys have any questions for him. But uh, yeah, let's, let's jump into this tutorial and he's gonna show you guys how he takes a simple sketch and actually creates a vector logo and a design that you can use. And essentially you could take the similar process to create a vector design for any other illustrations that you guys have. Cool. Let's All jump right. over to the computer okay, and he'll so show you what's going on. What we're going to do is that while we're on Illustrator, we're going to basically place a file. So there's a couple ways to do it. So you can go to File and Place. And then you just have to, I'll just look for the file that I'm looking for. So basically you just look for the file that you're looking for. Uh, most times you want to scan into a JPEG or a TIFF. Uh, personally, a TIFF would be better because you have a better quality file. So in case you have to enlarge it, that's not a problem. And what I'll do is place, click place right here. Normally you'd see this little cursor and when you see one slash one, that means that that's one picture you're placing on your file. So I'm gonna click on that and your image comes up. And let's say I'm gonna focus on this little area here with the cutting board and a pen. This is just for the sake of the exercise. So what I'm gonna do now is double click on layer one call it a template because that's what it is and hit enter from here on you want to lock your layer so you don't want to accidentally move it while you're creating your graphic and then from here on you see this little area here which says create new layer click on that and then this is where you're going to do your graphic so title it as graphic hit enter and then from here on we're just going to zoom in since I'm using a non MacBook Pro, you can just pinch or uh, use your fingers to zoom in closer. And note that this is a rough sketch, but it can still come out to something uh, very interesting. So I'm using the pen tool. I'm just press the letter P, or if you hover over it, see where the pen tool is. And I want to make this blank. So I'm going to go down here to make your fill color blank. This is my stroke. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make the pen tool. I'm just gonna click once and the pencil is something that takes time to get used to so you just hit once if you want to make a curve hold down and use the shift key to create the handles that you see here these are Bezier handles and then what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make a, a rough a rough um, image here and then what I'm gonna do is go down here. Now I've created half of it. And the reason why I'm creating half is that I'm gonna duplicate it on the other side. So <clears throat> I'm gonna use this arrow here, drag and select. Once you see that, you're gonna press O to reflect. When you take a look closer here, you're gonna see this little blue crosshair. As you can see up close. Now it's going to flip it over, but this is the center. And what I'm going to do is make this the center. So I'm going to click. How did you do that where you, where you went off the screen? Oh, uh, to hit the preview mode, press Command Y. This will show you just the basic uh, shape of the line, so you won't get distracted by your sketch. So this is a little area right here and we go online and then once you do that it'll show you where the center point is and you can move it well it, it'll show you when you when you select it when you press O the crosshairs here will show you the center of this incomplete object that's what it considers the center 
but I'm gonna go right here. Because I've noticed that sometimes when I flip, yeah. and then it, it doesn't it doesn't flip the actual way. But this this is something that I just learned. Yeah, right this now. is this is a good way to learn. I'll just press Command R to get the rulers. This is another good way to do it: to drag down the rulers to make a guide. Sometimes if you just wanna make a little guide for yourself, you can make a crosshair. So what you do here in the middle, you can click in the middle of the guides after you press O. Make that your center. That way you can make it a true center. And when you shift and hold option and drag this, it'll be directly down the middle. That's cool. So that's how you do that. Another quick trick is that you wanna, let me turn off the guides by pressing command and semicolon. The problem with this part right now is that this is not connected. As you can see, if I fill it with a color, it's not, not all of it is yellow. You could cheat and do this, and this is a very important. You. This is a this is a very important <laughs> step because if you yeah, if yeah. it's not connected, then essentially when you're trying to uh, fill your design, it becomes yeah. a pain in the ass. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'll come after you if you try to do this too. <laughs> you can't fool me with any of this stuff. So what I'll do? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna select none. Now you notice, like I was showing earlier, there's the fill is only halfway. So to join it, you're gonna hit this key called the direct selection tool. If you're looking at the screen, you'll see the little uh, box that'll tell you what each tool is called. You're gonna drag over those two points here and you're gonna press Command J to join it. And you notice that it's not quite perfect there but we can fix that in a bit. And then we're gonna drag over this area because those two areas connected. Command J. And invalid object. Let's pass. And it wants to be difficult. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we'll skip to this step. We're going to use the pen tool and you could go to the pen tool and access all the extra stuff here. There's a tear on menu. To be honest though, this actually will convert. So if you see that little minus sign here, that means that you can subtract an endpoint. It does it automatically, mm -hmm. honestly, so you don't have to cool. go through any of these extra tools. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to do it manually, you can press the plus sign to add an anchor point or a minus sign to subtract. And if you have the regular pen tool holding down option, we give you this little tool that will stretch out the handles. That's what you need to do to stretch it out. And then we're going to take care of this matter and I believe it's actually filled so okay good we're good so I'm gonna leave it blank we're gonna just do three quick uh, quick moment of making the quill of this pen so I'm gonna make a rectangle to make the fill you can just do this easy trick of dragging what colors in here to the outline to the fill. Now you have a rectangle with a black outline. If you wanted to get rid of it, you can just press X to switch back and forth. And I'll zoom in even closer if you want to take a look. Oops. Yeah, so take a look, and press X, switch back and forth. And then we're gonna get rid of the stroke. That's right now it's too much. I'm going to add an anchor point here, drag it to the pen, and now what I'm going to do is make the circle, because the pen nib needs that little round part. Okay. So you notice that this pen has separate shapes. Once I press Command Y, these are separate shapes. We want to make sure that these, this rectangle and the circle are one path, uh, one shape. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is go into Pathfinder. You can go into, uh, let's see, Pathfinder under Window, go to Pathfinder. Or if you go down here to your little palette, oh, let me hide that. These two squares here is what I call it, Pathfinder. <clears throat> what we're going to do is unite the shapes. So I'm going to click Unite. That makes one complete shape. So as you press Command Y, you see that's not a rectangle and a circle anymore. 
we'll take care of adding that to this in a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're building the parts of the the rest of the pen here. I'm just gonna make a rectangle. And we're gonna yeah. We're gonna use the arrow tool. I'm just gonna select one corner, press shift and arrow key. Notice that it's gone too far because I've held down shift. So I'm just gonna use just the arrow key while the corner is selected, just press one time. Same as this way, press it down once. And then we're gonna go into making a larger trapezoid here. So I'm holding down shift, I'm dragging it and holding down option. As you can see that little triangle forming. Okay, and now we're gonna press S for scale. Scales right here. If you're following the screen, scales done with the letter S. So we're gonna click and drag diagonally. It's not gonna look exactly the same as the sketch here, but we can adjust that later. So we're gonna make it a black outline. And we're gonna hit empty. What I'm gonna do is click on these two. Just gonna nudge it a little bit with the down arrow. Click on these two, holding shift will help you select more than one. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's just say I wanted to make it look like this for the time being. Although you may have this already set, it may not be aligned. So what you wanna do is highlight the whole thing. You're gonna to go to Pathfinder again, and then you go look for the Align tab. There's different options we can do. You can line it up in the middle. You can line things up along the center, which is what I'm gonna do here. So everything is now aligned. It's based on lining up the center line of all these shapes. So that's what it lined up. Okay, and now we're gonna do the cutting board. We're gonna make a rectangle with the rectangle tool. I'm gonna click and drag diagonally. If you hold shift, you make a square. If you let it go, it's gonna make a rectangle. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna hit the regular uh, direct selection arrow. It's the white tipped arrow on the upper right hand corner of your toolbox. As you see, there's four little circles. What this is, is that it contributes to rounded corners. You can adjust the corner measurements here, up on the top menu where it says corners, or you can drag it in if you just want to freehand the uh, measurements. So just, just about there is fine. So let's say for example, if you're making rounded business cards, you're gonna make it a, let's say you wanted a quarter of an inch, it's gonna do that for you. You can enlarge, you can, uh, bring it in as much as you want. So that's a good thing to know. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the handle now. So <clears throat> we're just gonna, we're gonna use the Pathfinder later on to unite these shapes. But right now I'm just gonna make the, the round handle part of the cutting board. So I'm just click and drag. Once again, I'm just gonna hold down on my trackpad here in my MacBook Pro, hold shift and then drag it down until you make a curve. Pen tool is something that takes a while to get used to. Um, it's, not, it's not an easy thing for most beginners, but it's something to get used to. Once you got the hang of the pencil, everything else is pretty easy. And we're just gonna stop right here because we're gonna do that thing we flipped over again. So drag and select. Hit O. I'm gonna select the center point and then we're just gonna drag this over. And then we're gonna use the arrow tool to select and grant J. And then as far as these points go, they're gonna combine into this rounded rectangle. So I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna add, a, complete the shape. Let's see, I'm gonna add the oval coming in here. Scale it down, make this black. I'm 
I'm gonna do is combine these shapes now. Make sure they're aligned right along the center, which they're aligned, and combine the shape. Hmm. So what did you just do right now? Okay, just... so what I did right here was that with the separate shapes I made, this is one shape, this is the second shape. I'm gonna hold shift to select both, and then you go to Pathfinder and Unite. Unite's gonna make it one whole shape. That's cool. So this actually makes it convenient, and that's actually pretty much it. Wow, guys, so that was a very quick rundown and a very quick tutorial by Ron here. He makes that thing look super easy and simple, and perhaps a few of you guys that are actually watching and joining this channel are just, they, you know enough to get yourself by, and by looking at this tutorial and by following some of these little quick tips that Ron just gave you for a very simple sketch to an illustration, it's gonna save you guys a lot of time. So make sure you check out his Instagram. It's gonna be linked right down below this video. If you guys have any questions or you wanna get a hold of him or perhaps even get some work out to him, he's, he's a great, reliable dude and I know that he'll be able to help you guys. So if you guys have any questions about this video, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section right below. Uh, Ron will be active in there, I'll be active in there and we'll just go back and forth and uh, answer as many as we can. So if you guys have any questions, do that and then also, do join the insider list, which is located right below this video as well. It's located on my website, and essentially it's gonna be a list that gives you free PDF downloads, guides, resources, and all the help that you're gonna to need to start a brand or to start your business. All right, so if, whether you're a graphic artist that wants to start their own business or whether you're an entrepreneur that wants to start designing apparel and selling it, those are all the different ways. I'll show you guys a bunch of different ways for you guys to bring your products and services to market. So I really hope you guys appreciate these types of videos and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.